Well, Gaffer, change of competition this weekend yeah. with the FA Cup. Um, how much are you looking forward to it? I am. I'm always looking forward to the Cup games. Um, it is a special tournament, um, with or without fans. So we're looking forward to it. Um, one we want to get through and one we want to win. We want to try and get a little run in the Cup if we can. I uh, don't think it's too much of a distraction uh, from the league. I think it's, it's, I suppose, in a way, not a bad thing. We've got a little bit of a break from the league, certainly for the players that have played all the games. Um, but whatever team I play, I trust any of the players that start the game to win the game. Yeah, Ox are becoming the new tram here, really. Obviously, played them in the Cup last year in the FL Cup, and you already played them in the league. And, uh, but as, as with all those kind of games, it makes no real relevance to this particular fixture. They'll be looking to, to progress just like us. Absolutely, and uh, they're at home, so uh, we know it's going to be a tough game. I think when the draw came out, really, probably both managers would probably say that's the one we didn't want. Uh, because you know, once you've come through such a run of games, you you, you want to. Well, Oxford have got the home time. We want the home time. We want the a lesser opposition, but it is what it is. And the, the goal is to to get through to the second round and hopefully get a better a, a draw then. But no, it's it's going to be a tough game. It always is, regardless of what teams are picked. Um, but it's one I'm going into looking forward to it because it gives an opportunity for ha perhaps for two or three to come in and 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 really stake a claim. And from a management perspective for this kind of game, as you say, you, you want to try and rest a couple of people if you can. Are you asking those players and sort of saying how they're feeling kind of thing in terms of this game, giving them the option, or is it a case of you're telling who's to who's who? I think there's a bit of both, Phil, to be honest, because I think sometimes as a manager you need to, well, a lot of the time you need to listen to the players, but also I need to you know, go and what I've seen with my eyes and, and speak to my staff, and in particular Craig and Matty, obviously, about you know who who the field needs to come out. That there's two or three that definitely need to come out for for reasons not not uh, about you know fatigue or tiredness and more about little signs that are telling us look they need to have a little break, which we'll give them. Uh, but the others might be just decisions that I make um, tactically or also I've got to think about an opportunity to get some of the players that haven't been playing in the team. The good thing for me is there's a game on the Tuesday as well, so. All the ones that haven't been playing will, will generally play in that, and as many as I can. So that's a good thing. So whatever team I pick on Saturday, it will be strong because we've got a strong squad, and I would expect a good performance. And they'll be fresh if I make changes, and it is a very very important game. Yeah, and if you do make changes, what you've got, well, I suppose, what those players have got to understand <coughs> is irrelevant of the form that you've had. Ultimately, if they play well and you've shown it before, there's every chance they could keep their place. Yeah, I mean, it's it can be difficult. You know, I'm not, listen, I'm not making ten changes here. I'm not. I won't be doing that. But it can be difficult when you've been out the team for a period of time uh, to come back in and think, well, I've got to play to my maximum to have any chance of playing in the next game. It's not as simple as that. What they've got to show is the right attitude, the right mentality, and do as best they can. Because at any given day, you can have a, a, a bad game just because you you know you're a human being. But I feel I've got a strong squad, and this is why we brought the squad together. The one we we recruited, added to the ones we had last season in the summer, uh, for this reason. That there's going to be a lot of games. There's going to be players needed at all the times. It's very rare as a manager, and for, fortunate for me, and it happened towards the end of before the lockdown, the first lockdown last season, where I'm picking pretty much the same team every week because their form's been so good, because we've looked after them between games, and that's been a telling factor in the fact that we've had no injuries touch wood mm. so fortunately for me as a manager I, I can do that because of the results and form has been good the other flip side of it is I've got to manage the other players that have not been playing but the one thing I always say is look, if, if it was the other way around I don't think you'd expect to come out so I think if you're consistent in that then the players respect that and, and that then it doesn't become a problem. Mm. Jack Taylor could be going away on international duty to wait for the squad obviously next week against Crew. Is that, that lead to an interesting selection dilemma because obviously because he's not going to play next week do you look at his stats and think can he squeeze another game in before he goes? Yeah I think so I think so with him it's slightly different the fact that although he's not with us next week he's going to be playing some football mm. uh, so yeah I mean I've got I've got decisions to make with things like that, um, but in my mind I know what I'm going to do and like I keep saying, um, whatever team it is, it'll be a strong one. Yeah, without being disrespectful to the um, FIFA and all that kind of stuff, <coughs> it seems bizarre that there are international games being played anyway, given the fact that we're in the lockdown and people are going left, right and centre. Yeah, it's not. it doesn't help. Mm. You know, most of the countries now are 
are in lockdown. Most of them are obviously continuing with football. Um, you know, as Germany, France, things like that. But you know, we now run the risk of players going away in international duty. Yeah. But I suppose if we, we follow the protocols, there shouldn't really be a problem in terms of when they come back. They need to be tested before they come back to training. So I suppose in that sense, it's helpful. But yeah, I mean, the lockdown started again. It, it doesn't affect us in terms of professionally with the job we're doing because we're working every day and playing games, which is good. Obviously, the players have got to be careful, and whenever they show any signs, we'll have to, you know, deal with it accordingly. And just finally on Jack, obviously he scored twice in the last two games. So I'm not picking him up to be <laughs> the next Paul Scholes or anything along those lines. But your goal scorer midfielders are hard to find, and you know, uh, when you look back at the players that you've managed from that particular position, Grant was probably the, the best at it in terms of the record that he had. Has Jack got the abilities within that to, to chip in with seven, eight goals a season? We feel so. We feel that he's. You know, got three now, which is, which is not bad, um, which is good actually. And we feel he's got the ability to get goals. He's got, obviously, as you can see, a good shot from Reed. He, he he wants to break the lines with his running. It's just about the timing of it. We want him to. We want him getting the box, whether whatever formation we're playing. But it's just getting the timing right about when he's got to stay in the middle of the pitch and link, or when he can see when it's wide to get in the box. You know, the goal against Fleetwood's a very good example. He was edge a great finish. Um, the one on Tuesday where he's running onto it and hitting it, you know. So all three goals have come from the edge of the box, which you would expect from a midfielder. Um, so yeah, he's if he adds that to his game and starts getting to double figures, then um, we're going to have a right top player on our hands. And just finally, apart from Ricky, no fresh injuries, as in players. That are no, touch injured. wood. Um, all the players came through Tuesday fine. The other ones I've just done a session with now were very good. Sets us up nicely for tomorrow. We'll go through our normal preparation for Oxford. And like I say, it's a big game, one we want to win.